I've just bought a ready to run drift car for 3,000 pounds. I'm Digger Dave, and this is Wild Your Customs. We've got a bit of moisture in there, lads. So then, we need to give it a wash. It's absolutely filthy, so we need to fire it up. I've put me old jump pack on. Give her a fire and see what happens. This one move. She's been there a while. Will it fit? Oh my days. I don't know how I'm supposed to jack that up. So then, turns out one of these is actually really good for low cars. The only trouble is you can't turn it. You just can't turn it, so. I've got myself a grinder. I cut that off. And then we've got a ratchet operated. Yeah. I could drive it onto them, but I feel like my neighbours will kill me if I do. <laughs> Safety squints. Ha! <laughs> works. I know it's paying off keeping these. Or is it just crushing the button? Who knows? <laughs> Can we get a jack on that? We can! There's my hand. That's your chassis rail there, we can dug onto that. We've been using the pinch weld there, which looks very sketchy. <laughs> it's very rusty. Looks very rusty, so I'm not banking on that. We need to get jacked up on the chassis and then get some axle stands onto it. <laughs> Tilting like a weaned dog on that piece of wood over there. I think that's about as high as she's going anyway, so. <laughs> Just a little bit high, she's not first notch it, Jack. I wanted to get what notches on it, Jack. So this goes. Balls deep on that, Jack. I need to put some wood under next. So, what did you do? Getting comfy on the floor, contemplating. We've got a chassis like this, which ends like halfway down the car, so it's like, I'm assuming that's your gas tank, and this gas tank looks pretty cooked, you know what I mean, so I might be replacing that. We've got some bad rust here, and this side skirt is like, it's bodged on, 
It's looking like we're going to do have to do a lot of rust prevention first. You know, yeah, that's probably the first thing. Get it stripped down. I'm just assuming I'm bolting here, which attaches to like that like kidney bush thing. There. So I'm assuming I've got to take this off. Like I can jack it up there. I'm assuming. <laughs> it goes nothing. So it went in the rusty hole. I've got it to seat nice. You know what I mean? So I can like get the skirt off if I need to. Um, I really want one of them bash bars at the back. What you can just jack it back end up you know what I mean low car life I think that's going to be one of the first things on the old shopping list because this is a pain in the ass been doing this for like 20 minutes now <laughs> this is freaking yeah it cares uh, I think I've done it got up about five notches decent amount to get under it that one looks a bit how you doing is that one all right no thing is when you're doing this you got to keep an eye on all the others kind of thing i've been backwards and forwards and they're all rocking all over the shop i'm not keen on this i really need a bash bar this is stupid well we're in the air take the wheels off now clean everything i think i'm gonna do that tomorrow now i'm naked <laughs> jacking up's enough for one day but i think it's cup of tea time now Could have done a lot better with that, but it's going to be a pain in the arse working on that front wheel now. I know it is, but it's hard to see when you're sat on the floor. But you're coming straight that way, and you think, good, you know what I mean? But it's just a washing day. It'll do. What are you doing in that manky old bed? Yeah. Yeah. Could be sleeping under that duck. This is he. Look at it, baby, it's disgusting. You're Ming. Yeah, it's supposed to be in the truck bin. Hey then, morning everyone. I'm doing some research. Basically, you could say we've, we've got a shopping list, yeah? So, where are we going with this 350Z? I want to get it MOT'd and I want to run it on the road so I can like basically shake it down, make sure all the gears work, make sure it don't overheat, all that kind of stuff. And it'd be handy to be able to drive it places to fix it. So, We've got, as I can tell, three things we need to tackle. The first one is that rear quarter, that nasty, that nasty looking rear quarter. I've been doing my research. From from what I've found, there's three over fenders that I would run. There's there's many actually, ranging from 50 mil, 20 mil, 50 mil, even as far as like 90 and 100 mil, which is just like what? <laughs> How big are your wheels? You know what I mean? But I'm I'm in, I'm in the market for like 15, 20 mil. You know what I mean? I can get away with that. You could use a space or you can get some wide wheels. Yeah. So one of these body kits, I'll put it on the screen, has a nasty body line that I'm just like mm -mm, mm -mm, no thanks. So that one's out of the equation and I do believe that was the 20 mil body kit. The others are a little bit more expensive, but still at the same time, like, very affordable. And they're a lot closer to, like, the original body line and only widen the car by 15 mils, which is, like, mm, really good. And then I found something from these guys. I discovered there's these replacement panels that basically cover everything on the rear quarter and they're made of FRP plastic. You, you basically like glue it on. And what's good about these is you can actually create a weight saving. You know what I mean? Like with race cars, you can chop all that metal area out you just don't need and you can just glue it on. You know what I mean? And in drifting, that's actually a really good idea, is it not? Rather than trying to stick something on top of the metal already and then just making it bulky and messy, like loads of tires going to get stuck in there and things like that. It'd be, it'd be kind of handy if we could just bolt it on or glue it on even. You know what I mean? I'll probably, I'll probably go for glue it because then you don't have the rivers but if it was in competition you can just bolt it off and clean it really really nicely would you not so these are only 200 pounds for the pay pretty sure you're gonna have to do some body work to make them look nice but 200 quid that's really good 100 pound per side if you crash that's really like encouraging to not worry about it so first on the list is a set of these kind of thing so probably by the next episode that's going to be like the first thing we're going to tackle because it's just heinous, you know what I mean? It's like an immediate problem. I've got to fix it. The MOT won't pass it because they'll deem it as like, if someone walks past it, they'll cut the cells and get like rust tetanus or whatever it is. Yeah. Mm. So then my next problem is, is uh, trying to pass emissions on the MOT because my car has 
a decat or the catalytic converter removed it now produces toxic gases which by law we've agreed that we don't want those toxic gases whereas on a race car if you're on a race track that doesn't matter you know it's a different environment but on the road by law you should have some catalytic converters now i have some spicy ideas for this i'm thinking about just getting creative making a back box out of a catalytic converter for just passing the mot you know what i mean rather than trying to because it's a low car it's really difficult to get underneath you know what i mean so if i could just take the back box off and stick this cat on but i just need to i need to research it further basically because i think with cats they need to be at like the manifold end because it's like really hot and they operate at like a really hot temperature i'm unsure i need to do a little bit more research but if i can go to a scrap yard and just whack off a cheap polar one and just bolt it on i've got a welder you know what i mean make a flange for it so it sticks on technically on the mot they stick that probe in that exhaust and they need to see clean gases coming out of it you know what i mean so as long as we provide clean gases coming out of that exhaust it don't really matter how we get there you know what i mean so i think that would be a very un interesting episode a very interesting episode so subscribe press the like button put notifications on and you'll you won't miss it you know what i mean and then finally we need to sort the wheels out because there's a good set of wheels on it technically but if i'm going to sort the rear quarters out and make them all nice you know i'm probably going to sort the door out like try and get those dents out and just get waft over with some paint because i'm already going to be painting you know what i mean so it'd be a crying shame to have these bicycle wheels on the rear you know what i mean i'm i'm very interested in having two front wheels of a variety and two rear wheels like a three-piece like rear with deep dish in it and then a one-piece front like an auto stock so i'm really ooh it's like a really nice wheel and i think i can get two auto stars for 350 quid and I, I think they're discontinued because you can't find them on the website so i'm pretty like i need to go and get some of those but at the same time money we've got to like be patient you know what i mean but that pretty much i'd say wraps it up after that that's probably what's going to happen so there's no need to discuss anything further i have a shopping list like it's monstrous <laughs> And finally, the most important purchase any car guy should make whenever they buy a new car. This has been my first purchase. My first modification is a Haynes manual. And not only die, but they're expensive. You know what I mean? Because I think this is going to be like an American's manual. You know what I mean? You, can't, you, you never got them in England, but they still made one. 35 notes, mate. Oh, oh. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? It's going to be that 35 quid is, it's weight worth in gold. There's no better than when, oh, I need to drop gearbox tomorrow, night before, in bed, just I flick through you know what i mean you go to bed like really happy like yeah i got this you know what i mean i know what i'm doing you know what i mean and it and you and you'll be like oh i need this i need that i didn't realize i need that you know what i mean so then it like it's just the way to go youtube videos are good for modifications but if you're going to do some legit spattering on your car get an aids manual i'm on my own as well you know what i mean i ain't got time to be wasting searching for this information I need a one-stop shop i like the books otherwise it's probably worth what wrapping this episode up isn't it I'm giving the car a clean, it was worth watching. Well, I do really want to see time lapses, but I just need to give it a damn good clean so when we do work on it, I don't get dirty. That's all for now. At the minute, we need parts. We're well, right, so join me in the next episode. We'll probably have parts and a good time. Yeah, nice one. See you bit. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Everybody we asked agreed. Yeah, you what? I agree, man. I agree. I agree. Brother, I agree with you. I agree. Well, your customs makes the sickest, trickiest boxes ever to grace Mother Earth. Store things like the squirrel you yearn to be. Well, your customs, baby. The you didn't know you needed. Well, your customs.